Hey there, my name is Danielle Hogel, and I'm a fairly recent college graduate with student loans who is trying to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Thankfully today, I'm celebrating paying off my second student loan of three, and so I kept thinking, what have I, what have I been doing? What has worked for me to help me pay off these loans so quickly? And so today I want to share that with you. I have five simple tips and tricks that have worked for me because if you're sitting there thinking, I have student loans or I'm going to have to start paying those things soon, I want to help you be able to get rid of those quicker because I know the stress that those loans can have on you. So first of all, just to give you a little background, I finished my master's degree and graduated in, Jan in December of 2010. So I started paying on my loans in the summer of 2011. So we had those six months to kind of get our things together. However, I just had two part-time jobs and I wouldn't get a full-time job until a few months later. But I started paying the minimum amount that was required to get them done in 10 years, which is what they suggest. So I started doing that. Then. Within two and a half years, I paid off my first student loan. So that was January 28th of 2014. And today it is July 24th and I have just paid off my second student loan. And within six months, my goal is to have the last and final one gone. So I don't have to stress and be worried about those stupid things anymore. So here are my five tips of things that have helped me that I hope will help you as well. Number one, you have to get intense and you have to get excited about getting out of debt. Now most people aren't excited about paying off a student loan, but you need to change your mindset because if you get excited and see the potential and what's possible, you are going to make that thing go away so quick you won't even know it was there. Now the person who has helped me the most when it comes to getting excited, he calls it gazelle intensity is Dave Ramsey. So this is the Total Money Makeover. This is the book that I live by. I love it. He makes me excited about getting out of debt and being smart about money. So I hope that you will check that out and apply it to paying off your student loans. Tip number two, get a second income. So the truth is, is that I actually work an at-home business about five to 10 hours a week and I make more money doing that than I do for my full-time job that I had to have a master's degree for. And so all of my income that comes from my home business goes directly to my student loan. All of my earnings from my full-time job go to pay bills. So it's actually this little part-time thing that I have going on that pays all of my student loans and is helping me pay them off within just a couple of years compared to the 10 year or even longer plan that most people are on. So my suggestion for you is to find an at home business or add a part time job or somehow use your skills and your passions to bring in an extra income. Tip number three, pay as soon as possible. Now that may sound so like simple, but what we don't realize is that interest is building every single day. Every day it adds on. So we really want to pay as, as soon as we can. So even if that's $5 a day or maybe $5 every two days or even just $5 a week until you can make your big lump sum, whatever it may be, the sooner that you can get some money paid toward that, the better. I've actually read that you know, if you have a $25,000 student loan, you could actually end up paying about $35,000 just because of paying an extra $10,000 in interest. I don't know about you, but I don't like to give my money away. And $10,000 just in interest seems like it's just giving it away. So pay as quickly as you can and as much as you can on a regular basis. Number four, set a goal. So what you can do is actually if you decide that, hey, I really want to get this loan paid off in three years, what you can do, at least it worked for me, is you can call the person who you have your student loan through and say, okay, I want to pay off my loan in three years. Will you tell me how much I have to pay monthly in order to make that happen? And maybe you want to give them a couple different options. Figure out how much would you actually have to pay monthly to get it done in three years, maybe five years, maybe seven years. Just so you get a ballpark idea of what is expected to get it done that quickly. So then that way you can decide what you can do to make that happen. Last but not least is tip number five. Now I actually made a mistake when I first started paying off my student loans and I just paid it to the whole entire student loan.
but I actually have three separate loans and you may have the same. So the problem with paying it all to one big student loan is that they decide to put that money wherever they want. I don't like that. I like being in control of my money. So instead, I figured out which one I had to pay which one had the least amount that needed to be paid? And that's the one that I paid off first. And then I moved to number two, and then finally to number three. This is based on the Dave Ramsey principle, where he says, for all of your debt, pay off the least amount first. So if you have credit cards, pay off the one that has the least amount on it. And so I did the same with my student loan. And the reason why that's so exciting is because when you see one go, you get even more excited. Remember, tip number one was to get excited about being out of debt and getting rid of those student loans. This system helps you feel that way and get excited. Because when one's gone, you're like, dang, I just have two more, or however many you have. So you want to, instead of paying into one big lump sum, if you have the option, you want to figure out which one has the least amount and pay directly to that one first, then move on. Let me warn you, you are going to want to pay off the one that has the, the highest interest rate. You're gonna to wanna to pay that one off first because it sounds like it makes sense. But Dave Ramsey really says don't do that. And so I really suggest you read his book so you get more into that, but really it's just our mindset. We really need that instant gratification of getting rid of one of those loans. So find the one that has the least amount, start paying that one off first, get rid of it, and then move on and make it a snowball effect. So I hope that these five tips really helped you and I want to challenge you to actually apply them. It's easy to listen, but it's not so easy to actually do some of these things. So I wanna encourage you to actually do those. Another thing, add me as a friend on Facebook. I'd really like to connect with you, with you. There I also share some more tips and tricks on what I personally do on a regular basis to save money or to earn an extra income. And so I'd like to connect with you. Also, leave me a comment. Tell me kind of where you're at in your situation with your student loans, when you're going to have those bad boys paid off, and let's celebrate together when we actually all pay those things off because it's really exciting. So again, I hope that these tips helped. Please, please, please apply them and let's get rid of these student loans and everyone have a fabulous day.